Hi, for this recording, I'm going to show you how to do part B of this question 6. It says that a right angle triangle ABC in three-dimensional space has hypotenuse AC and vertices A is 2, 1, minus 1, C is 2, 3, 3. Show that the coordinates of B, which is x, y, z, satisfy the equation x minus 2 square plus y minus 1 times y minus 3 plus z plus 1 times z minus 3 equal to 0. Now, to do this, we need to use a little bit of geometry. Let's recall what we can find in David's Lay Linear Algebra and its application. Section 6.1, page 397. I have simplified it. Let's say I have two vectors u and v in three-dimensional space. Let's say the angle between them is theta. Then, it says that the dot product between u and v is equal to the length of u times the length of v cosine theta. Now, in this case, if theta is equal to 90 degree, then we know cosine 90 is 0. Therefore, u dot v will be 0 now. So this is how we can tell whether two vectors in three-dimensional space are perpendicular. This is a part on the geometry. There is also another algebraic approach of dot product, which you can find in David Lay's page 391. This is the algebraic approach. If u is u1, u2, u3, as v is v1, v2, v3, then u dot v is u1, v1, plus u2, v2, plus u3, v3. And this is another way to find the dot product. So let's go back and write out something so that you can remember. So this is a geometry approach of the dot product. Geometrical interpretation for a dot product. Whereas the on the next page u dot v and this will give you the algebraic interpretation of the product. Now if you have triangle A, B, C, let me try to draw the triangle. So there's a A here, there's a C here. A and C will form the hypotenuse of a triangle, the longer side. And there is a B somewhere here. Let's say the coordinate is x, y, z, where the coordinate of A is 2, 1, minus 1, and coordinate of C is 2, 3, 3. We are given that for this triangle, A, B, C, this triangle is a right angle triangle. So the angle B must be a right angle. So that means that this vector AB and this vector CB are perpendicular. So let me write down what we know now. So AB is perpendicular to CB because ABC is a right angle triangle it means that AB dot CB the dot product must be equal to zero because if two vectors perpendicular then the dot product between them must be zero. Then how do I find the dot product? So I not I must know what is AB and CB. So let's try to find out what is AB here. So AB is take the difference in coordinate x minus 2 y minus 1 z minus minus 1 becomes z plus 1 this is a b and what is c b now c b take the difference between coordinate of c and b so take b minus c now the end point minus beginning point take b minus c now the end point is b Initial point is C, so x minus 2 
y minus 3 and z minus 3. Using the algebraic approach now, I will have to find a dot product I should get x minus 2 multiplied by x minus 2. So this will give me x minus 2 times x minus 2 plus another one y minus 1 multiplied by y minus 3 so this will give me y minus 1 multiplied by y minus 3 plus z plus 1 times z minus 3 so I'll get multiply plus z plus 1 z minus 3 must give me 0 this is how you find the top product so the top product is given by this expression x minus 2 square plus y minus 1 times y minus 3 plus z plus 1 times z minus 3 equals 0 and we have achieved that in this equation that's all for the recording